Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe XT tutorial. I am your host, Elias Arantopoulos. This time around I will teach you how to create a pop-up window using multiple component states in just one artboard with different triggers and destinations. So inside Adobe XT and with a new document open, I have already imported and placed a background photo which is all about an orange scene and it's part of a website page. In addition, if you look inside the Layers panel, and if I double click on the pasteboard and toggle on its visibility, I already have created the information window, which is about the five health benefits of orange juice. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Let's go back to the orange scene and focus on that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create the button that the user will click on for the pop-up window to appear. So for that, I'm gonna bring in the help of the square grid. So let's go ahead and bring this up. The shortcut is Control apostrophe or Command apostrophe. There we go. And in this case, the square grid, the size of it, uh, for my taste, a bit small. So I'm gonna click on the artboard, the orange scene artboard. And the default size here, as you can see, is set to eight. So I'm gonna bring this up to 20, okay? Then I'm going to use the ellipse tool. So I'm going to press the letter E on my keyboard for the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle, which is 40 by 40, okay? So no need for the border. I'm going to change the color to black. I'm going to use the type tool to create the plus sign. And then I'm going to marquee select those two. And up in the options bar here, the inspector, I'm going to align those vertically and horizontally like so. Okay, great. That's one thing. Another thing that I want to do is I'm going to get the help of the 12 column grid layout. And the shortcut is Control Shift apostrophe or Command Shift apostrophe like so. Okay, as you can see here, first of all, I'm going to place this, let's see, around there. And all of my design is inside the 12 column grid laid out, which is quite important since this is a part of a website, okay? All right, this looks cool. So I'm going to toggle off its visibility and now focus on creating uh, a component. So before I do that, I'm going to rename instead of ellipse nine, just ellipse, then select those two and turn this into a component. A couple of ways you can do this. You can run the shortcut, which is Control K or Command K, or you can simply click on the plus icon here. So I'm gonna run the shortcut, Control K or Command K, there we go. It says component 35. I'm gonna just rename these two component to keep things nice and organized. So we have the default state. Great, that's the first state. The second state, let's go ahead and create one. I'm gonna click on the plus icon, which says add state. And we can choose between the new state or a hover state. In this case, because the user will roll over first, we're going to use the hover state. Great. Now, for the hover state, let's go inside the layers panel and open up the component and target the ellipse first. I'm going to change the color to white. I'm going to target the plus and change the color to black. Okay. So, default state is this. Hover state is that. Great. What is the next state? The next state actually will be when the user clicks on that, then the information window appears. Well, first we have to create that state. So I'll click on the plus icon. Instead of state three, I'm going to rename these two. Pop up, hit enter return. And let's go back to the pasteboard. I'm going to marquee select this, Control C or Command C. Then I want to make sure that I'm inside the component. So I'm going to double click. Now I'm inside the component. You can see this from the layers panel. And then I'm just going to paste this. So Control V or Command V. All you have to do is just move this here, like so. Okay. Now, no need to see the pasteboard anymore. I'm going to toggle off its visibility. And we're not done with the 
with the pop-up state here because when the user clicks and the window appears, then it has to close it. So we have to give that indication. And the way we're going to do this is target the ellipse first, change the color to red, target the plus, change the color to white, but at the same time, rotate this 45 degrees, like so. Uh, just one thing that I want to pay attention here, if I click on that, I can just slightly move it to the center there. Okay, so let's toggle through the states. Default state, hover state, pop-up state, perfect. And now we are ready to wire this up and set up the interactivity between each state. For this next step, let's go ahead and jump from the design mode to the prototype mode here. And let's go ahead and target the first state, which is the default state, okay? So in order to wire things up, we're gonna have to click on this blue arrow and let's set our interaction. So I'm gonna set the trigger to hover because the user first will roll over, will hover over the button. The action will be set to auto animate and destination, well, we're gonna go to the next state, which is the hover state. As for easing, I'm gonna go ahead and choose ease in out and for duration you might have 0 0.4 i'm going to set this to 0 0.1 which is the lowest okay so that's the first state let's go ahead and wire the next state the hover state again click on this blue arrow and for the trigger i'm going to set the trigger to tap or click action set to auto animate and destination well you know it we're gonna to go to the next state, which is the pop-up state. Okay, I'm gonna leave the rest as is, and then focus on the next state, which is the pop-up state. So when the user is already here, it needs to loop back to the default state. So let's go ahead and click on this blue arrow, and the trigger will remain on tap. The action will remain on auto-animate, and destination, well, we need to go back to the default state, like so. Let's go back to the default state. And now, let's go ahead and preview this inside our desktop. There we go. So, first thing is, we're going to hover over. There we go. The color changes. And now we're ready to click on. Click on that. Here's the pop-up window with all the information we need. And then all we have to do is just click again, and we close the window. Let's do this one more time. Hover over. Click, you see this changed the color, this rotated, which indicates the user that we have to close it now, this is the way to close it, and then click to close it, like so. Thank you for spending time with me. Let me know if you have any questions below the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the knowledge.